All right, ladies and gentlemen and work experience students, we're going to learn about choosing training for your career. All right, so here's what I want you to do. All right, close your eyes and I want you to close your eyes. Okay. All right, so I want you to picture that you're on a lake and a boat. So your buddy bought a boat or your girlfriend bought a boat, right? And you're on this boat on the lake and it's a beautiful day and the lake actually has water in it, right? And so you're, you're driving the boat, having a great time and all of a sudden, the motor on the boat stops, blah, 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 and you're just sitting there dead in the water, okay? And then you see like another boat come in, you see another boat come in, and all of a sudden you look, and it's like, oh my goodness. It's like every person on that boat is of the opposite sex, and they're beautiful, and they're han or handsome, one or the other, right? And you're like, oh my goodness gracious, and the boat, that boat, like just, they don't, they don't realize that you're, you're like it's so much in shock that you're just watching. And you don't like wave to them that you need help, right? And so that boat just passes you right on by, okay? So, and then you realize like, oh my gosh, my boat is headed this direction, but I want to go be, I really, really badly want to be going in that direction, right? Okay, so now with your, now with your eyes closed still, I want you to picture like, okay, you want, your boat is facing in the wrong direction and it's not moving. How do you turn a non-moving boat? So write down in your worksheet, how do you describe the process of turning around a boat that is not moving? How do you, how do you define that process? All right, and the answer, I don't know what the answer is going to be. Now, the answer is going to be, it's going to be really difficult. It's really frustrating, right? Trying to, so if you have a boat and it's moving and you try to turn it, well, that's easy. But if you have a boat that's not moving, trying to turn it, is very difficult. Okay, so now what does that have to do with anything at all? Okay, well, I'm going to tell you another story. I'm going to tell you the tale of two graduates. All right, so there's this one kid, his name is Joey. And so Joey uh, was in my class, and so is Steve. So Joey and Steve were in my class. And so I told these guys, like, okay, guys, whatever you do, I'm going to give you guys the same advice. It's like, whatever you guys do, do not buy a big truck with big wheels and fancy tires and all that stuff, right? Okay, so what does Joey do? In high school, he had a job for work experience, and what did he do? He bought a big truck with big rims and fancy tires, right? And of course, the next thing you know, he gets himself a girlfriend, right? So everything's great, right? So he's got this cool, super cool truck that's jacked up. He's got a beautiful girlfriend, right? And so, although now he has got to kind of work extra hours to, um, you know, pay for all this stuff, right? He's taking his girlfriend out on dates. He's got to pay for truck payments, right? So the deal is this, is that he's super happy, right? And then he graduates and he's still super happy. And his girlfriend, Laura, so Laura decides she's going off to, to school, right? And so she peels out and leaves, right? And so Joey's like, okay, well, Laura left. She went out, she went out of town to school. And then all of a sudden his job starts to get kind of stressful and he hates his job. And he's like, man, you know what I would like to do is I would really like to to go to that to off to school as well, right? Except for he can't. And the, why can't he? Why can't he go off to school? Well, the answer is he has to keep working his job to pay for his truck and to pay for his new rims and pay for his tires, right? So he's he's stuck. Okay. So the idea is relating it back to the whole boat problem is that. So for Joey, he didn't make any decisions, right? He just was like, oh, I'm going to, I'm working. I'm going to buy a truck. I've got the girlfriend, right? He didn't, he, his boat really wasn't going anywhere. He just like, oh, here's what's close around me. This is what I'm going to, I'm going to take, right? And then all of a sudden he decides like, oh, I want to change the direction of my, my life, right? But all of a sudden, just like that boat, it's very difficult because he kind of had himself trapped financially with like car payments and with a job he didn't like and he never really even had a, a career path right okay so now let's take a the story of another student okay so steve steve was a friend with joey steve listen to my advice i said hey don't you know don't get buy a big truck and have car payments and don't do all this stuff and steve listened in fact when i gave him uh, advice on you know career stuff he actually listened to it and he took it and so he decided that he wanted to go to stan state and he was going to major in engineering, okay? And so he got there, and he decided, like, oh, yeah, I would engineering is awesome. But when he got there, he started taking the classes, and he's like, oh, I don't really like engineering. 
the, the people are boring and the classes are really hard and I don't I, I really don't think I actually want to do that after all and I want to I want to switch to business I want to be a business major and so he goes in to the counselor and he says hey you know I uh, I want to switch my majors and the, the counselor is like okay well let's look and she's like okay well um, your math classes will transfer over and most most of your stuff will transfer over you're actually so the reality is you took this calculus class and that actually isn't what you needed. So now that we look at it, you really needed to take more of a statistics class for business. So everything, all your, all your, all of your classes will transfer over to business uh, except for one. So that really doesn't put you behind very much. And it's like, okay, so what's the point of that? Okay. Well, Steve, he was, oh, you guys got to open your eyes now because I'm making all these hand gestures that, that's, that don't make any sense if your eyes are still closed. So open your eyes. All right, so Steve, just kidding. I knew your eyes weren't closed that one. All right, so Steve was going in a direction, right? His boat was actually moving, right? He had like, oh, I'm going to go into engineering. And so he's moving in a direction, right? And then as he's moving in that direction, he learns new information. Like, oh, I don't really like engineering. Oh, I don't like the people in my classes. It's like, oh, this is not really what I thought. So, but he was moving in a direction, but he went into like, I want to change directions. And because he was actually moving forward, he had a plan Right when it goes to switch direction, it's like not all that hard. Just like with a boat, if your boat is moving in a direction, then you can change. All right. So what is the point of all this stuff? Okay. The point number one: don't buy a big truck on credit. Don't buy rims for your truck on credit. Pay cash for your vehicle. All right. That's number one. Anyway, but that's kind of side. We'll talk about that more when we get to personal finance. All right. The second and real point is this: is some people are afraid to pick a direction and go in that direction. They're like, oh my gosh, oh, I can't, I can't pick a, I can't pick a career. I can't pick a college. What if I pick the wrong one? Well, the reality is even if you pick the wrong one, you're moving in a direction and you're like, you're like taking the right classes and you're like, you're getting career advice and you're learning new stuff. And so by just by moving in that direction, you're like, give, maybe that's the right direction, but even if it's not the right direction, now you have the ability to, to turn your boat around, right? As opposed to the other kid who's just like, oh, I'm not going to make, I'm too afraid to make a career choice or I'm just going to take whatever job I have here. And he like lets the, tr the, like he wants a truck and he just does that. But that's not really a, a decision or a direction. That's just the thing he wants, right? And now he's trapped and he can't move, all right? So, all right, what is the point of the two stories? The point of the two stories is don't be afraid to pick a career and a school and move in that direction, right? Because it gives you the ability to move and change or you're moving so you can get really where you end up want to be in the long run. Uh, what should you do? You should pick a career and move forward with it. What should you not do? You should not get stuck um, doing nothing. You should not let buying stuff and things that are just happening around you choose for you. Because if you if you don't choose a career, if you don't choose something, so life has a tendency to choose it for you. Okay. All right. So what's the, what's the point is I want you to get on a good career path. Get, getting started in a direction only helps you change direction in the future. If you need to change direction, move towards a good college or technical training. So let's figure out what that is going to look like. Um, later on, that's going to help you with your resume. When we do resumes, um, it makes your high school classes more meaningful. It's like, oh, yeah, you know what? My math class is, is going to be meaningful because I do want to become an engineer. Or, hey, you know what? I don't really need to take calculus because I want to go into business, and I don't need that class. So your classes are more meaningful now. Um, and it will motivate you to gain experience and skills that will aid your future. So by having a, having a goal now, um, it's going to motivate you, hopefully. All right. All right. So let's get started with the worksheet for college and training okay so that's around here somewhere uh, okay so here we go what is your name what it was your dream so you should be able to answer these um answer these okay so we just answered those together um what should you do yeah we should yeah so we just answered those okay so here's what i want you to, to do i want you to click here and do this if you can do this just try and do it great um and ignore the rest of this video if you can't do it um then Come back to this video and we'll do it together. And I'm pausing because this is, I'm trying to get stuff going here.
Okay, so here we go. So here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna come to this site and you're gonna you're gonna create a um, you're gonna get signed in. You're gonna get registered, right? So go ahead and get registered. Oh, I'm gonna just sign. In. You can just sign in with Google. Okay. All right. So what you want to do? Well, I guess I better hit pause and get this figured out. Hold on. Okay. So here we go. So let, all right, let's take a look at this. So we have. So we're gonna go to this that uh, site right here. All right, and then you're gonna click right here on college, and you're going to choose building your college list. So the idea is you're gonna search for colleges. Um, that are appropriate for you. Now, if you're so if you're not going to college, if you're going to go to trade school, you're going to have to do a search for. Let's say you want to be an electrician, so you have to do do a search as how do I become a journeyman electrician, and you're going to try to figure out training nearby and what that's going to look like. Okay, so be, because that's so scattered, I'm I can't really make a step by step detail. You're going to just have to do it on your own and then answer these questions. All right, but for if you're in college, um, so here so. Um, first of all, I want you to read this. Okay, read all this stuff. Okay, you're gonna have to answer these questions. What are questions to ask yourself? Okay, um, it's important to get to know the can the campus and what uh, what you want to know about the campus, um, and so on and so forth. Think about safety too. If you know, so so some people are um, more inclined to need to be, have a safe college so that would be important too because a lot of a lot of bad stuff happens to people at college especially young ladies so something to think about if the college is safe all right so once you've read this and answered the questions okay so these you're going to come back and answer these questions um what are the three things you should ask yourself okay um answer those questions all right then we're going to actually i want you to start finding colleges so what you're going to do is you're going to go to, well, where are we going to go? It says, go to the college search tool. All right, so I'm going to copy that link, and then I'm going to switch back over here. Okay, so then I'm going to paste that link over here. Okay, and then I'm going to type in a search. So for me, it sounds kind of silly, but um, my second choice for a job would be either engineering or ornamental horticulture. And so ornamental, I can't even say it, but it would be kind of fun to do. Ornamental horticulture would be somebody who does landscape architecture. Okay. So I'm going to put in ornamental horticulture and I'm going to say I would like a bachelor's degree. And so the environment is, so rural is like Sonora and suburban so we're kind of like either rural or suburban. I'm going to say I probably want suburban or maybe a town. I don't care. If, when I'm going to school, I didn't really care. Um, so probably medium to large is what I was interested in. And so then I'm going to hit search. Okay. And so, oh, look at this. This I would love to go to school at San Luis Obispo. So they have that program. Um, let's see. Cornell. No. Nope. Maybe Florida. Okay, maybe Utah. Anyway, so this is my so this this is my top school here. Okay, so then so this then I'm gonna look into it. Okay, so the overview is so it's a big it's a big campus. San Luis Obispo is a great place. Um, Two hundred miles from Los Angeles. That's not a plus for me, but um, uh, so anyway, you can click on here and learn more about it. Um, but they a offer a bachelor's degree, which is I'm after. Okay, so then here's campus and community. Um, you can learn some things about it. So um, I've actually been on the campus, and so I've heard good things. They have lots of clubs. They have lots of, not lots of diversity. So if that's important to you. Um, so that's kind of, for me, that would actually be a, a negative. So it's mostly white. White. It's nice to have a campus with, with lots of diversity. But at any rate, so that, that, um, that's up to you, what you're looking for in a school. Um, Okay, so then cost is important. So it's nine thousand a year. Um, if you're, you're from out of state, it's more. Okay, twice just about. So if you stay on campus, that's how much it costs. Or you could get an apartment if you wanted. Any rate, so look this over and see what the, the deal is. Um, so the average student gets five thousand dollars, which is actually in financial aid. So that helps quite a bit on that. Okay, so any rate. 
So the degrees and majors, we already know that they have ornamental horticulture. It wouldn't have added, been on that list. Um, transfer is important because um, if you want to go to like Columbia College and then transfer in, um, you can, except for only 16% are accepted. So it might be challenging to, to transfer in. Anyway, all right. So you can, so based on that, you can answer all of these questions. Okay. How much will it cost? What percentage of there? At any rate. Um, okay. So that's it for that. Answer these questions. Um, turn this in on Google Classroom and then go on to the pennant assignment.